and welcome to another video about our resume series. On this video, we're going to talk about how to format your CV or resume if you are a fresh graduate, somebody with a different job background, or if you have a flight attendant experience before. So listen up and learn and let's get right into the video. What to do if you don't have any flight attendant experience or if you don't have any experience at all you're a fresh graduate yo fresh from the barn so what you will do is um, highlight your other skills for example if in school you learn how to do the sign language you could put it there sign other skills sign language English skills, communication skills. If you know other language as well, for example, you know Nipongo or you know Chinese, say Chinese speaker or Japanese speaker, that will be the best way to represent you aside from putting in your educational attainment. And now my tip for you, you have a previous job experience but it's not a flight attendant experience, then you highlight your skills. You should use a format called a combination format. So you put your name on top and then you put in the skills and qualifications uh, after that and then your work experience, okay? So what this does is it highlights the transferable skills that you have. Like when I talked about earlier about being a call center agent, the communication skills and the customer service skills, put that first on top. Okay, and then that way they can easily imagine you as a flight attendant. Now, if you are a previous flight attendant, you should put your flight attendant experience on top. Okay, so after your name and your contact details and your personal info, put in your work experience. The years that you have worked on the flight attendant field, also the different duties that you have done for the company, like for example, greeting passengers, <laughs> assisting passengers, and instructing them on safety. Uh, again, use the action words that I've said earlier on our previous tip. So put down the different duties that you have performed for your current company or for your previous company. And then, that way, it is so much easier for the hiring manager to see you working for them. If you'd like to have more tips about your interview, check out my book and my online courses. I will link them down below. So that's all my tip for you guys for your resume. If you are applying for the job as a flight attendant, make sure that you like this video and subscribe if you haven't yet been subscribed already. And I will see you guys on the next video. Fly with you soon! Bye!